Here are some extraordinary places you didn't know existed. You are a great travel lover, and you have been dreaming for a long time to visit Mexico and discover some of its most famous natural sites. But one day, while you were researching these sites, you were attracted by a large pink water point located in the state of Yucatan. It is indeed a lagoon called the Laguna Rosada. That is to say, the pink lagoon because of its color and which is located about 60 kilometers of the city of Merida, the capital of the state of Yucatan. By continuing a little more your research, you discovered that the Laguna Rosada is not very deep and that it owes its beautiful pink color to its strong rate of salinity. Moreover, it is exploited by the salt industry, as proven by the presence of its salt mountains all around the lagoon and is therefore not a suitable place to swim. If you dreamed of taking a dip in these beautiful roses, you will be disappointed to learn that it is impossible. But you can always go there and take some nice souvenir pictures or stay there to contemplate the beautiful landscape as long as you can. Imagine that you are on vacation in Galicia, Spain, because you want to enjoy the region and its beautiful beaches located on the Atlantic coast. But while you are walking along one of these beaches during low tide, you immediately notice a rock structure several meters high. If you come closer, then to see it more closely. And that's when you discover a set of rocky masses with an amazing structure and breathtaking beauty, which are separated by sandy corridors and which remind you of the buttresses of some Gothic cathedrals. Yes, you are in the beach of the cathedrals of Playa Agua Santa, a beach well known for its magnificent arches and caves that overlook the Cantabrian Sea and that have been carved by the wind and the water. However, this beautiful landscape prevents you from seeing that the tide is rising very quickly. But fortunately, you have time to leave this place quickly, without regretting that you came there. The image of the beach of the cathedrals will remain engraved forever in your memory, isn't it? Heading to New Zealand, where you have been for some time, you have a great desire to visit these mini natural sites, but one of them has particularly attracted your attention, Waitomo Glowworm Cave. The Glowworm Cave of Waitomo, which is located in King Country on the North Island, and for good reason. It is a cave that is naturally illuminated by bioluminous glasses that can only be found in New Zealand. So you go on an adventure and you take a boat that takes you through the underground tunnels of the cave, which allows you to discover and explore this place that offers to your eyes a real starry show thanks to bioluminescence. But to enjoy this magical show, you must endure the cold that reigns in the cave because it is usually no more than 16 degrees. However, in spite of your goosebumps, you spend a very pleasant moment that you will never forget in your life. You even have stars in your eyes. You love safaris, and you dream of going to Namibia just to meet the animals in their natural environment. You are not the only one, so you will be surprised to discover that there is more to Namibia than just safaris and that there are many other things to discover in this southwest African country. For example, have you ever heard of Death Valley? This suddenly stimulates your curiosity. Without waiting, you rush to your phone to type this name on your search engine, which then brings up several information about the incredible natural site. Well, this allows you to learn that Death Valley, or Dead Swamp, is a plain of white clay which is located at the foot of the sand dunes in the Namib Desert in the west of the country. Actually, it is an ancient swamp that has been dried up for a very long time. But you must admit that the images of this barren desert place with its long dead dry and black acacia trunks made you a bit skeptical. Only at first. But as you gazed at the landscape, which combines the pristine white of the plains with the bright orange of the sand dunes, you became convinced that Death Valley is really worth a visit one day, right? In fact, it even gave you ideas for your next exploration trip. Not long ago, you were preparing a study on glaciers. Of course, you wanted to highlight the most famous glaciers in the world, when you discovered, to your great surprise, that there was a glacier like no other, its name, Perito Moreno. It is located in Argentine Patagonia, and it is alive. This is a very curious detail that naturally pushed you to look for the meaning of it. After some research, you discovered that the Perito Moreno glacier changes its appearance every day, 
how this glacier, which is 30 kilometers long and 5 kilometers wide and reaches up to 60 meters in height, is regularly in motion on the Argentine lake and advances every day by about 2 meters. All of this seemed impressive, although the idea of seeing a glacier moving scared you a little, but this feeling disappeared as you looked at the images of the glacier whose beauty left you speechless. Moreover, the discovery of the Perito Moreno made you want to go and visit it one day to see these movements up close. If you're in Nevada, USA, you will probably like to go to Las Vegas or Area 51, which you have heard about all the time, right? But if you read your guidebook carefully, you will come across a name that will certainly not leave you indifferent, Fly Geyser or Fly Ranch Geyser. It is, in fact, a fascinating site in Nevada that is located in the Black Rock Desert. You will also be surprised to learn that it is an artificial well that was drilled in the early 1900s and then allowed very hot water to eject through these cracks. But the hot water leaked out more after a second badly plugged well was drilled not far from the first one, causing mineral deposits that resulted in this beautiful mountain with its breathtaking colors. All this will seem fascinating. And of course, you will get ready for the adventure and you will take the road 34 from which you will be able to finally see this magnificent geyser and its water jets that reach a height of about 1 meter 50. Wow! It's a bit sad to know that the fly geyser is not open to the public and that you won't be able to see it up close, as it is on private property. But at least you'll be able to see it, even from a distance, and you will be able to stay there for as long as it takes. You will then carry with you a beautiful souvenir of Nevada. Researchers and nature explorers who go to China and visit Liangning province always want to see Panjin Beach, a sandless coastal nature reserve known to be home to hundreds of species of birds and other animals. But if they go there at a certain time of the year, from August to October in particular, they are always surprised to see that this beach turns red. That's why this beach is called the Red Beach of Panjin. Thanks to some tests and analysis that they sometimes make in the laboratory, these scientists discover that this so particular tint is due to a species of algae called Soweda salsa, or simply Soweda, which it causes this color and many others according to the seasons. Of course, understanding the process that causes this color requires a bit of scientific effort, especially at the beginning. But later, it helps them to know better the life cycle of this algae and to better understand the mystery of the Red Beach. Although this natural wonder will always be of interest to them. Many archaeologists who are interested in the remains of India often want to discover the underground or underwater sites of this great Asian country. Their astonishment grows, however, when they arrive at Dwarka, a very ancient underwater city in the state of Gujarat. Many of them who went there did not hesitate to perform carbon dating on some of the debris that was still there, such as parts of a wall, building materials, or human teeth, which allowed them to roughly estimate the age of the city. Well, the existence of Dwarka dates back to about 9,500 years ago, which makes it older than the Chinese, Sumerian, and Egyptian civilizations. Obviously, this only made the perplexity of these archaeologists greater, especially since this city was well-planned and enjoyed a certain modernity. Indeed, Dwarka was made up of residential and commercial districts. Moreover, it had gardens, artificial lakes, and large roads. But how did it end up underwater? This question and many others increased the skepticism of those scientists who finally concluded that the city had probably been submerged by water due to a great flood. But this conclusion does not prevent the archaeologists who discovered Dwarka for the first time or who still carry out studies on this city will remain forever struck by the mystery of this mythical place. Do you like hiking in the mountains? Then you might want to check out Mount Roraima in Venezuela. Be sure that once there you will be stunned by the shape of this mountain. Why is that? Well, because Mount Roraima has a flat top. Here you are searching for images on the internet to see what it looks like. And of course, the web comes up with incredible images of this perfectly flat top mountain that remains a mystery to geologists. Located on the border between Venezuela, Brazil, and Guyana, Mount Roraima rises to 2,810 meters and its area is 31 square kilometers. To reach the summit, it takes two to three days of walking. However, you learn that this ascent caused the death of some people, our faith which discourages you a little. But hey, you can always contemplate the summit even from a distance or at best. You could try a helicopter tour to admire the view from above. All means will be good for you to see this mountain up close, which will not leave you indifferent.
Those who are traveling to Scotland always want to visit Loch Ness in the hope of finally seeing its famous monster. But they will be surprised to know that in Scotland, there are incredible natural sites that are a must-see, such as Fingal's Cave, which is located on the island of Stafford. The most curious will casually make the trip to this uninhabited island and will be able to discover this huge sea cave with a unique structure with its hexagonal shaped basalt columns that are the result of a lava flow. However, they will have to put up with the flow of tourists who come to visit Stafford Island and its famous cave, especially if they make the trip at a certain time of the year when the tourism reaches its peak in Scotland. But in the end, they will not regret it, and they will even keep an unforgettable memory of this natural sight that has amazed many celebrities before them. You have often seen or heard about two water masses that meet, but whose zones do not mix, right? But one day you wanted to verify this, and to your great surprise, you discovered that this information was not wrong and that this phenomenon does exist in the Gulf of Alaska. Indeed, in this place, oceanic waters and those coming from glaciers meet without ever mixing. How does this happen? That's the question you've been asking yourself. And when you tried to find the answer to this mysterious phenomenon, you found that it is due to a difference in the density that exists between the two waters. Indeed, the difference in salinity and other factors mean that these areas never mix and are always separated by a foamy line. This confused you. But in the end, you said to yourself that nature is like that. However, this phenomenon will never cease to impress you. Now tell us in the comments, which of these incredible natural places would you like to visit one day? Don't forget to subscribe and click here to watch another of our videos.